Here's how you travel the world on a budget. One, you have to set aside money. You have to make travel a priority. So what that means is that you have to save where you can. So if you don't really watch TV much, what do you have cable for? Get Netflix, you know? Cut out those parts of your life that are not that important to you so you can put it toward travel. There are certain websites that I swear by when it comes to traveling on a budget. For instance, like theflightdeal.com is a huge one. Secretflying.com is another one. I really love the way that skyscanner.com is set up. If you're not married to a destination, but there are certain dates that you know you're not flexible with them, you can literally put your dates into the website and in your destination, you type in everywhere. And what it will do is it will scour the entire world on the dates and it will list them from cheapest to most expensive. So this way, if you're cool, it's like the digital version of like spinning the globe and like picking a spot. This is a website called Magnify Money where you can find like the best free online only bank. So the reason why you put your money there is because it makes your money inconvenient and inconvenient money gets saved. So let's just say you're saving for Paris. You put your money in your savings account at this online only bank. You see something cute at Target, you wanna get it. It's gonna take two to five business days for you to steal your Paris money from yourself. So it means that you're less likely to spend your travel money. For me, like I swear by it in Johannesburg, South Africa. It's cheaper than the cabs, it's more efficient, it's safer in some instances. I'm really big on authenticity, not just with my company, but also with the companies that I frequent the most. And so I'm a huge advocate of like the Airbnbs. I love being able to walk into somebody's house and get an authentic experience of what it's like to live there, to cook there, to sleep there. I just came back from Mexico maybe a month ago, and the trip was originally maybe like almost $900, and flight, five-star hotel, all-inclusive food, drinks, everything for $550. And so, so you can travel the world, like, like what is that? You probably spend that on brunch you know, in a month. And so just setting aside that money and making travel a priority.